Today we have a really exciting episode for you because surprise surprise, there's actually no sanding or fairing. I should say at least not from me because what Matt's working on is going to completely change the look of the boat. It does require just a little bit of filling and sanding but we are moving on to the next stage of finishing and this one is geared a lot more towards our cabinets and the rip cut white oak that we purchased a few months ago after going on long searches for it in our area. A really good example of where that's going to go is our galley here. So we've got the large pull-out drawer and then above it we're going to do a fake door because there's sliders on the other side but we don't want just a big open white space. If you get closer though you can see that we've decored the foam in here because we're going to take that hardwood and shape it into a T and then it will stick out about three quarters of an inch here and then going all the way down there as well. So running down along the side will be three quarter trim which will come out to about here and then with the drawer that's going to get its own face pulls out here. Once we put a door on it it will also have its little bit of trim on the end so they will eventually meet flush here. And that is going to be the project for this week which we think is going to make a huge difference in the look of everything. Of course, totally different once we get that white paint on, but for now, it's gonna be a big step forward and finally something a little bit different for us. Back at it with the white oak now. Now that I actually found some. Um, what I ended up getting, this is surface two sides, so it's nicely finished, nicely plain down, but the edge, as you can see right here, so if you see the edge, this is actually not a 90 degree, it's not fully surfaced. So using the joiner to get a good 90 degree edge on this, once I have that, then I'll be able to run it through the table saw and finish up. These are not real complex things, this is just basic woodwork, but that's how we want it on this boat. I wanted nothing complex like the last one, so much easier here. First pass, all right. First pass is already cleaned yep. up. So this good. is uh, one sixteenth of an inch off the, the edge. Looks like it needs to go quite a bit more down to get to that, that final little piece. We'll just keep passing it through until we get something nice and uh, usable. It just needs to be quick little sand, but man, that's you right, can see my little stop marks, yeah, yeah, little burn marks where I stopped but it. But from what it started uh, like, yeah. hopefully, we just kept that straight. But I'll just run it through again. One of milling complete. The stock that I got was exactly a, an inch thick. We need it down to 20 millimeters. So we're gonna use a surface planer to get that all down. Um, probably should have done that when it was all one piece instead of doing it this way. But, oh well, it's, it's uh, it'll work. It's, uh, Okay. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so my router didn't like taking off that much of an edge. So what I'm doing, it's just doing cheating. I'm kind of, see if this will focus there. All right, so you can kind of see the edge I'm cutting. Now I'm just taking off that little bit. Um, not a fancy cut, it's just getting it an area that can fit in between those two pieces of fiberglass. I can kind of see what we're doing here, um, where we're putting this wood trim in, filling in that spot, and it's going to seem kind of backwards to install the trim before we actually get the paint on, but I'll show you why we're doing this. You can see these really thin edges here. It's very difficult to get them perfect before we actually put the wood in. So what we're doing is, now this, this piece of wood is actually a little bit warped, but you can kind of see when it gets pulled in there, this crack along this edge. Once we get this wood piece bonded in place, the theory is that we're going to be able to come back then and fill this properly with some fairing compound, get that all good, and then once it's time to paint, we're going to be able to make a nice neat line along here. I've gone through, I've tried redoing these edges multiple times, building them up with thickened resin, all that kind of stuff before this wood is in here, and it just doesn't really hold its shape at all. I'm worried that it's going to be imperfect when we do finally get this wood on. So what I'm gonna do now is bond this piece into place, get that so it's all set. Then we can come in, start filling this in and hopefully getting that the result that we're looking for. Well, this is gonna be nice and even here. Many of you know that basically everything we do on this boat is being done in polyester because of, I have a slight allergy to epoxy. One area that we are actually using epoxy is in all this wood. Polyester resin really doesn't bond and vinyl ester resin doesn't really bond well to wood. It's the oils in it, just doesn't attach well. Epoxy does a much better job. So for this, we are using Thixo, which is the total boat thickened resin. This is the fast cure. So hopefully that means I can get two of these done today on here. Now, normally with this product, you use one of the mixing nozzles. All I'm doing is just this little section here, and I hate wasting a nozzle for that. So instead, I am going to mix it on a board. So two parts there coming out. Yeah. And I have got the edge taped up here so we don't accidentally get any epoxy on this that needs to be sanded back off. So. And we have taped up the edges of the wood that are not getting bonded to keep those clean as well. Mix, 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 mix. Butter this bad boy up. La, la, la. Don't remember what way I was going to do it. <laughs> Blue edges connect. sure that this is actually level and even with the edge. So what I'm trying to do here is make sure that that wood, so if you look underneath here you can see the wood is sitting proud of that edge so I've got to get that piece pushed in but down here it's nice and tight and that is the goal is to have it so it matches clamps clamps 
clamps. We can never have enough clamps. There's no such thing as too many clamps. Definitely not on a boat build. Now the reason we're starting here is eventually there's going to be a door that goes over to close off this companion way um, when we have guests aboard and stuff. Uh, so it is going to be hidden a lot of the time. What better place to practice this on than that? What better place to make our mistakes? Yep. Day two now of our experimental area. Um, got both of the pieces bonded in place. And then there are some slight undulations in there against that edge. So filled it in with the epoxy fairing compound. Now I'm going to go through and sand it and hopefully not ruin all of the wood next to it. Uh, that's why we're doing it in this area. Um, learn from our mistakes here where it's going to be hidden by a door. So we'll attack this real quick, see what that does, um, see how this turns out. And again, make sure it doesn't damage this wood too far by sitting there sanding this whole thing all in one piece. And then we'll go through and once you get that, I actually have already cut the pieces for around our closet. This side's already cut and ready. And then we have the pieces that go in there as well around that door. So um, the owner's side, if this does work out okay, the owner's side is already cut. I can bond these things into place and get this side finished and ready for paint finally. I sanded this wood flush now. Um, I'm going to come back through and fill in any of these little imperfections along here. Just gonna tape it off and then just cram in a bunch of uh, thickened resin, which is, we're using that epoxy stuff um, from Total Boat, the Total Fair, which works really, really well, specifically because it doesn't take a lot to sand it. I was worried about using the, the polyester resin, which takes a bit more aggression to get it so it's smooth, which would then wear the wood more, but give this a shot again. Quite a bit of work in that flat again.
After letting the epoxy fairing compound sit overnight to cure, Matt used one of our long boards with 120 grit sandpaper to get it to a flush finish with the hardwood trim, as well as blend it out to the existing surface that had already been fared and primed. Gonna need another round there. Uh -huh. Still low. Some areas though, still ended up low. In some spaces, Matt had to take into account the curved edges of cabinets and make sure to keep them properly rounded while sanding. Although most everything came out perfect the first time, there were a few small spots where the filler was not thick enough to be flush with the trim. Focusing on those spots was a priority, but we also doubled over a few other spots just to be safe, as it is much easier to do this step again now than have to try and go back and make touch-ups later. We still have a long way to go before these areas really shine, getting the last a primer and then paint on the walls, and of course, a protective finish on the wood. But this is one large step forward for us in turning this jumble of random pieces into our dream home.